Hey guys, what is going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and it's Wednesday, which means it's time for another What's Sold. It is what Sold Wednesday, and this is the time when we look back over the last week, and I highlight some of the things that sold. I was trying to figure out exactly how many to do, what to do this week. And we had some really good sales over the weekend. And so I want to make sure we get through as many as we can without making this a 45 minute video. So we're going with 33 for 24 or more. What is that? Well, it's right there. Here's 33 things that I sold for $24 or more. Now, when I took the price, I decided what the customer was in, right? So that included shipping, uh, that included taxes, because I think that'll show you how much a customer actually values an item, is this is how much they were willing to shell out for it. So that's what we're doing, is 33 for 24 or more. And that's what we do on this channel. We, we talk about what solds, we talk about uh, garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, you know, we, I take you along for ride-alongs with those, I show you thrift hauls, we do bolos. We've got a good one coming up on Monday I'm going to show you about. We're going to talk about it actually in this show and then dig more into it on Monday. So if this is the kind of stuff you want, uh, go ahead and uh, ring that bell. That'll tell you when we put new stuff up if you also subscribe. So hit the thumbs up, subscribe. We're pushing towards 900 right now, which is awesome. We're on our way towards 1,000. We're on a push to get 1,000 subscribers by July 4th. That's the goal. And uh, if that happens, then actually, uh, well, I mean, I said it. So if that happens, we're, uh, we're shaving my head. We're probably going to do it live on a video so you can watch as I lose all of my luscious locks. Uh, so let's dig into it. We got that all out of the way. We're going to dig into the 33 for 24 or more. Now, the first couple of things on here I put in with an asterisk because they weren't technically $24 or more. But look, ring caps. These are the gift that keeps on giving. I'm sad I've only got one left. I bought a pile of these. They were selling 11 of them in a pack and I bought five packs, I think, for five bucks a piece. I'm selling four of them at a pop for uh, once they figure in their sales tax. This was $23.12 and then we had $23.13 and then this person bought two of them. So we're doing really well on these uh, cap gun refills. Uh, it, it's something silly. It actually started slow. They weren't selling. I thought maybe this was a bad buy. And all of a sudden, these things have started to move. It's all profit. We're making $20 a pop. That is a pretty good thing. Now, these also come with an asterisk because I got these at a garage sale. And individually, they were not selling for $24 or more. But I bought them all at the same time. Sold them over about a 36-hour period, these Wii remotes. They're selling for $22 and change. What was it, $22.04? I don't know, you saw it over there. $22, bucks, free shipping, but you know what? I'm making after fees, after shipping. We made $15 or $16 bucks on each of these. I paid $15 for everything at that garage sale. We're making a lot of money off of that sale. So on its own, no, it wasn't $24 or more, but we sold all four of them very, very quickly. So that's why I included it. Also, at that sale, Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. This sold for $24 and is it 22 cents? I think that's what it was. This moved really, really fast. Wii games, Mario Wii games, keep an eye out for those very often. They're good money and they move quickly. Lawn chair. People still like these things. Guys, I actually had a customer send me a question saying, hey, I can't use the one, but will you sell me the other one by itself? And then right after that, somebody else came in and bought both of them. So these actual chairs, they sell, and they sell pretty well. If you're willing to ship them in a big box and willing to deal with boxing something big, you can make money on them because people almost give them away. And if they're in good condition, people will buy them, and they're made out of aluminum. So they're very, very light. It's a bulky box, but it's a light box. I've never sold them, but I know you can. So keep an eye out for those. But even these, I got these for 99 cents a piece at Goodwill and uh, decided to lot them up, sell them together, and sure enough, they moved. This is an HO scale train car. I bought a pile of them, it's two boxes, I think, of them, and they were overflowing boxes. I think I gave them 50 bucks. We were like 50 cents in a piece, maybe. Sold this one for $24 and change. So these, again, the gift that keeps giving, we're running low, but 
now these are still, uh, you know, the, the, the good ones sold right away, and now these are sort of the ones at the end. But still, when we're 50 cents in, when we sell something for 24 bucks, I'm not going to complain about that. How about a Harley shirt? Uh, I listed this in about 20 minutes later. Somebody sent me an offer. I think I had it at 24 bucks or something. Price high, right? Uh, 24 bucks and change, and I took an offer of 20 plus shipping. So uh, Harley stuff, keep an eye out for in the right size and the right style. It still absolutely sells. This was like from 2000 or 2001, made in the USA, Harley. It was a definite sale. I picked this up on a half off day at Goodwill. I got this for a dollar. Good flip. I set it on the live on Monday. If you missed that, we talked all about tools with the Bearded Thrift Machine. Julian, he knows all about that stuff. Uh, he sells more hand tools, like mechanics tools. Uh, but I did mention I picked up three saws in the last couple months. I've sold three saws. This was the third. I sold this thing for $25 and change all in. Uh, I, I picked it up for a dollar at an estate sale. So keep an eye out for these. The wheat saw on, on the end there, you can see it's, uh, it looks like wheat they call them wheat saws people like those they'll pay 15 bucks plus shipping for them all the time how about some pokemon pvc these were the original uh tommy this was the the original first generation people collect these so if you can find these little guys uh, i had my daughter i don't know pokemon too well but my daughter helped me group these things up in like classification or whatever um, and we made multiple lots i think this is the last lot that we had from this so we paid 15 dollars for uh, an Ikea bag full of stuff. And uh, we've sold a whole bunch of these Pokemon things along with a bunch of other stuff. And so I took an offer on these and it was a good sale. He sent me an offer of 25 bucks plus shipping and we took it. So really, really good sale for these itty bitty little figures. Starbucks mug, guys. Starbucks mugs do sell. You got to find the right ones because there are a lot of them, but the right ones sell well. This one lasted a little while. But uh, eventually, it did move, and all in, the buyer was $29 and change, so can't complain about that. I think I picked this one up for 2 bucks at Goodwill. This came, guys, uh, six months ago, $10, $12. Easy, sold all the time, but it was $10, bucks. Now, it's right around 30 bucks, and that's what we got for Wii Sports. Uh, the, the market shifts. you got to keep an eye on the market because... The, the price changes on things all the time. And this is now, before it was a pickup and you're going to make an easy 10 bucks. Now you're making 20, 25 bucks off of this thing. So really good sale here. Another video game. This one, I actually put it auction and it just goes to show you a desirable game will still sell even if it's, if it's scratched up. This was a, a listing that basically said, hey, look, this is a great game. If, if you buy this game, it's in good condition. It's 40, 50 bucks. Um, or potentially more. Um, I bought this game knowing that it was scratched up, but it was $2.99, I think is what I paid for it. I put it at auction because I didn't know what the value was with it being so scratched up. They weren't deep scratches, but there's a lot of them. So uh, I described that and said, you know what, here's the game. It's got the manual, it's got the case. It is scratched up. It probably needs resurfacing. And uh, it was actually a company, Gamer Girls Online, I think, is, uh, is who bought this. So this is going to a company that sells these things online. They're going to resurface it, and they're probably going to sell it for 50, 60 bucks because it's going to look all bright, shiny, new. And they made money. I made money. Everybody's happy. But keep an eye out for this game. This game is a good game. This I got in a, uh, a loot crate box, actually. Uh, I, I randomly sometimes get those. You cross your fingers. You hope for something good. And this almost paid off the box. This is an old uh, Gotham City police badge really really cool it's heavy duty i mean it's it's leather and metal it's it's the real deal and sent out an offer for this and somebody accepted it so we're almost 30 dollars in on uh, on just this thing so not bad i've got a little yoshi pin once that sells i paid off the box uh so we did okay there we didn't make a ton of money we broke even and i got a couple of cool things that i've got behind me actually the shredder chasing uh linus and lucy uh that came from that box too and i i really dig that art so uh that's cool i get some stuff i like and i pay for it by selling the couple of things in there that i think are worth money so that's where this came from and it was a good sale i'm happy with that nike backpack i picked this up uh it was some time ago i thought these were going to be a better deal than they were but picked them up they were 14.99 and i got them half off so seven bucks they're new tag nike bags i thought for sure they were going to sell well. They retail for like 45 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. And they just sat. So finally somebody sent me an offer and I took it. I've still got a couple more of these. Um, they'll move eventually, but these were not a great pickup. How about a Kobe rookie card? Uh, Kobe stuff 
still selling. This was, was it $36.99? I can't remember now, but it's right there. So uh, Kobe Rookie going out, that a nice little sale. That was a very nice card. Vintage eyeglasses. These were uh, prescription bifocals. Doesn't matter. They're going to pop out the frames and just use the lens themselves. These were uh, Marchand, I think, made in Italy. And these were an international order. These went to, I believe, Spain. So keep an eye out at estate sales or garage sales, people getting rid of their old glasses. Uh, every once in a while, you can get them for really, really cheap, and they sell well. I don't sell the, the men's as well, but the women's, if it looks like old school librarian, cat eye, stuff like that, those sell really, really well. And keep an eye out because sometimes those things are gold filled. So you may be getting a gem in there. You never know. But eyeglasses do sell. You just have to be sure that you state in the description that they are prescription glasses. How about another Wii game? These All this Wii stuff coming from the same sale where we paid 15 bucks. So we're like a dollar into this game. Pikmin, I've now sold this for the Wii. I've sold it for GameCube as well. And that's why I picked it up. I'd sold it for GameCube before, knew it sold for good money there. So knew the title, picked it up, and it sold for almost $40. Uh, so it didn't sell as quick as the couple of Mario and the Mario and the Wii Sports and that, but it did sell and it sold for good money. So keep an eye out for this title on any platform. This you uh, you saw in the last haul video, Fanny Pack, Jansport, new with tags. This sold really, really quickly for full price plus $19.99 international shipping. This is going to Thailand. So somebody, it's what is it, $37.99 all in for the fanny pack and then that same customer same evening bought this robert de niro t-shirt uh the sell-through wasn't great when i picked this thing up um but i just the graphic it looked like it never been worn the graphics are fantastic and so i just i thought you know what i have to have it it was i think it was a dollar and uh it sold too to that very same buyer for a little over what was it 36 bucks so all in, that, that buyer is like $70 into me total for uh, a fanny pack and a t-shirt. Not bad. They are slinging their way to Thailand right now. Remember that deal where I picked up all those movies for $19? I said they were bolos because people ignore Blu-rays and movies. Uh, they can be good, guys. They can be good. Look at this. 40 bucks essentially. 40 bucks for Blade Runner, an old movie on old media. New money, $40 into my PayPal account. I'm good with that. This was a special, like a collector's edition, so it is a little different than the run of the mill, but I've made a lot of money off those DVDs already. You get the right ones, just like Starbucks mugs, just like anything else. They do still sell. I sold movies all week, so don't completely ignore the movies. We actually sold a VHS movie over the weekend but keep an eye out for uh for blade runner we are doing good we are blasting through all of these and here's another one rick and morty monopoly not a fantastic sell through rate but rick and morty stuff does sell pretty well uh we sold this one all in for uh 43 bucks and change didn't cost that much to ship this part of a big bulk deal i paid 520 dollars for a whole load full of funko pops gears of war stuff and some random games this was one of the random games it took a little while to sell but it did sell so we've got a dragon ball z monopoly still from that sale that one still hasn't sold but otherwise we're almost cleared out of all the stuff we got out of that sale we've made a lot of money off that thing picked these up at that sale a couple weeks ago you saw it it's where i got um several things i got the, uh, the apron from the old wall drug. I uh, picked up the planer. I got several things. Most of his stuff was really high priced. But the pure water filters. Pure is one to look for. Filters of any kind, really. Something to keep an eye out for, especially if they're new and sealed. This one, it's actually a six pack. And they had used one of them. But there were still five new, sealed, unopened. And they sold. I knew they would. Uh, I paid $20 for this and the pitcher itself. I haven't actually listed the picture yet but i listed the filters because i knew that was a quick sale and it only took a week and a half two weeks these things sold and uh they are it's it's almost ten dollars a filter is really how it works out and that's about what we got here all in they were 53 bucks and change so really a good sale doubled our money this is a vintage army 
jacket. This is a really heavy duty jacket. The thing weighed like three pounds once it was in the box. Uh, they paid like, I think it was like $33 plus the priority shipping. So this was a, a big buy, but uh, once I folded it up, rolled it up like a burrito, slid right into one of those shoe boxes. Fit perfectly, very easy to ship out. Took a little while. This was, I don't know, a month, two months, but uh, eventually a pretty good sale. I think I paid $5.99 for this at the Goodwill. I know a lot of people don't get the idea of selling used shoes. A lot of people are weirded out, but you know what? I make a lot of money off of used shoes. I like these Nikes, 61 bucks and change for a pair of used shoes. That's not bad. Keep an eye for this one. This is Beach Body. I put this thing at auction because it's not your standard Beach Body P90X. This was P90X3. I guess it's the new one. Something like when I listed it, 12 listed and 350 sold something ridiculous like that. So I thought, you know what, why not? I put it at auction and it did pretty well, as you can see. So I'm very, very happy with that. Keep an eye out for P90X3. I know some people are worried about selling it on eBay. Beachbody is one of the Vero things on uh, eBay's list, but they don't seem to mind as long as it is legitimate stuff. And like most companies, like the North Face, for example, the North Face is on there as well but I don't think I've heard of them coming after anybody selling used North Face merchandise. They don't like you selling new stuff, but used you're fine. I think it's the same with Beachbody. If you're worried about it though, it sells all the time on Mercari. This thing I picked up at a sale where I got all the tools. I paid $45 for a bunch of sockets. We showed some of those on Monday Night Show as well. And then $5 for everything else that I got. Uh, I sold a sewing machine out of there for like 29 bucks, like a little miniature sewing machine. Uh, I sold something else that was tagged free. We sold for $17, free shipping, but it was free. We've made a lot of money off of that sale already. And this thing, when I first got it, I didn't realize it was new in the package. I thought it was a $25 item. Turns out it was still new in the package. It's worth twice that and it sold overnight. So keep an eye out for these analog digital converters. They can and do sell, especially if they're new. You're going to get some really good money off of this thing. Okay, Colin Kaepernick. We're not getting political. I'm just telling you what sells, and Colin Kaepernick stuff does sell. Very often, it seems to sell overseas. I don't know why, but I've sold three or four Colin Kaepernick things overseas now. Actually, I do pretty well with NFL stuff overseas in general. A lot of Seattle Seahawks stuff goes to Germany. I don't know. I guess maybe it's service members over there. I'm not sure. But NFL stuff does sell overseas, and Colin Kaepernick stuff does sell pretty well. This was like a jersey shirt hybrid. Um, this was a women's uh, small size shirt, so I wasn't sure exactly how well it was going to do, but it was in beautiful condition. And somebody bought it in uh, Australia. They paid 110 Australian dollars. The Australia, bleh, Australian dollar is worth about 65, 66 cents. So they're about 65 bucks all in on this uh, on this shirt. So not bad. And we're almost there, guys. Selling religion. This actually an antique Bible. I think it was 1914. It says there on the listing. This a uh, one to look for. It's Douay Rhymes. I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know, but you'll see those. Those tend to sell pretty well. Um, it's Catholic Bible. This, uh, like I said, a, an antique Bible, not in pristine condition, but in very nice condition, considering it's more than 100 years old. Look up when you find Bibles that have the leather covers. Look those up. Study Bibles. Uh, if it's got the, the gold leafing around the edge. I mean, if it looks like a very nice Bible, look it up. I mean, it, it is the best-selling book of all time, guys. And people buy it all the time on eBay. Now, most of them don't go for this much, but I knew this was a good pickup. I actually got this for free and all in. They were $80 for, uh, for this Bible. This went international up to uh, Ontario is where this went. And the cherry on top of my What Sold Sunday. I bought this thing on a Saturday afternoon at about 12.30, last stop that I made. Turns out it was from 1960s Las Vegas from a Tiki Lounge. I knew it was valuable, didn't know how valuable. Listed it for $99.99 because it was that rare. There was only one other sold in the last three months, none listed, and uh, inside of about an hour maybe less than that. I got an offer from a, a person in Beverly Hills, offered me $85 plus shipping, all in with shipping with sales tax. 
they were in $103 in change for a mug that I bought off a table sitting next to another tiki mug that's still sitting behind me here on the table. That one's going to sell for 50, 60 bucks here pretty quickly, I think. Uh, I got out of there for 15 bucks for everything. So that's like a theme. I seem to be paying $15 a lot. Uh, but if I'm going to turn around <laughs> the profits that we're making right now off that 15 bucks, I will keep doing it. So uh, tune in next Monday. I'm going to show you a little bit more about the mug, uh, show you the other mug, and talk about Tiki a little bit on a drive-by bolo. So that is coming up. But that is our 33 for 24 or more. That's what we've sold here in the last week or so. Guys, I sure appreciate you stopping in. Uh, I try to do these What Sold videos every Wednesday because I like alliteration, and we do What Sold Wednesdays. But like I said, we do other videos as well. If you haven't, please subscribe, hit the bell, comment down below, and uh, let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. We're actually working on improving stuff. We're getting better video equipment. I've got light coming in, so we're going to have better light in here. It's baby steps. We're getting better. I hope things are getting better. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to cut this thing off. We'll see you next time.